Friday, February 17th, 2017, uh, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. Uh, I'd like to uh, do an update on, the, on gold and especially against the uh, British pound. Uh, we just had some uh, economic data out of the UK. So it's uh, just gone after 9.30. Usually the UK data come out at 9.30 uh, a.m. Uh, London time. And uh, it was retail sales. And uh, for all of you who don't know, retail sales, housing, and the city, which is the Wall Street of uh, the UK, the financial sector, in my opinion, those are the three main pillars of the economy the city of London, the housing market, and credit and debt, which translates to retail sales and how uh, the public is willing to you know, borrow and spend. So uh, retail sales are expected to come out at 3.4% uh, year on year, while actually month on month, retail sales are expected out 0.9% for the month of January. And uh, they came out down 0.3, it was a huge miss. Uh, you might say, oh, uh, that's normal because after, after December and January, people have spent a lot of money, you know, for Christmas and prior to Christmas in the new year, they, they slow down a bit. Yes, that's true, but the expectation, the forecast by economists who know these factors that I've just talked about, you know, post-Christmas slowdown, they still expected a 0.9 increase month on month, and it was a drop of 0.3. It's a huge miss. Uh, it's difficult to say, you know, whether this is a one-off, but I can also see here uh, there might be some revisions. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, so... Uh, the, the December numbers, uh, which came out in uh, January, uh, they were actually revised from down 0.1 to down 1.9. So that's a huge revision downward as well. Even, uh, you know, the uh, December numbers that came out in January, they were revised lower from down 0.1 to down 1.9. So there's a, a little more to it, I guess. So the core retail sales, which exclude a few other, uh, you know, a few components, uh, that was expected up 0.7 and it came out down 0.2. And uh, it looks like uh, there's been some big revisions downward for the December number. Let's have a look at the core. Uh, the core, uh, the previous number uh, that came out in uh, January, that core number was 0.2, and it's been, re been revised down to minus 2%. So it's huge. This is a pretty big, uh, you know, surprise, I guess, for a lot of the mainstream economists and the public and politicians. To me, it's not surprising. Um, I think, you know, we are at a point where people, you know, can't really borrow anymore or they can, but they're at the at the limit. Uh, we've heard recently that uh, energy providers like uh, NPower, British Gas, they're increasing, uh, you know, the energy prices by about 9 to 10 percent for the next year. That's going to make a huge impact on the average family. It won't make an impact for, you know, uh, the people at the top, of course. But, uh, yeah. So what about the price of gold? Well, the price of gold in pounds uh, is just around 1000 right now. We got down to uh, 940 earlier this year, and it's been rebound, rebounding, quite, rebounding quite well. Gold right now in dollars is 1242 And the pound right now, it's at one. Uh, 24 24 so that's down about 65 so we're almost matching there you know 1241 to 124 20 so you can see if we get to 1242 20 uh, in gold that's a thousand um, uh, pounds per ounce 
I expect, you know, gold to return back above a thousand and pounds. These numbers are pretty dreadful. Just want to see what uh, some of the, uh, you know, mainstream publications are saying about the, these numbers. Let's have a look at Bloomberg, see if they've got anything uh, uh, about this story. Yeah, I think Bloomberg says, UK retail sales unexpectedly <laughs> declines as inflation bites. So they're saying, well, I'm not surprised. Uh, rising prices. It's not because of inflation. It's because of rising prices. Inflation is the, uh, you know, uh, debasement of the currency that leads to higher prices. So they've got that wrong. But it, it says here, UK retail sales unexpectedly fell for a third month in January, suggesting consumers are starting to feel the squeeze from accelerating inflation or rising prices it's not surprising you know with the pound uh being uh, you know the base so much you know they people most people blame it on brexit i don't blame it on brexit it's been happening since uh 2014 you know when we reached 172 against the dollar and uh, it was down to around 146 before brexit so the debasement has been going on for for a few years now not just after brexit uh, let's see if they talk uh, about, uh, you know, those uh, revisions. Let's see. Yeah, it says here, in January, there were declines in sales foods. Uh, oh, yeah, the 2.4% 2 2 drop in total sales in December was revised from a previous estimate of one9 represented the biggest drop since May 2011. So yeah, there was this big revision. So um, yeah, I think we're going to be testing this thousand level in uh, gold, uh, in British pounds, of course. In dollars, we're a little higher this morning at 1241 up to the high has been 1242. The low is 1236. Uh, the Dow is down 57 points. So that's a, a a surprise there you know we never seem to uh, see the Dow go down anymore S&P down six down a quarter of a percent silver 1806 down about three so yeah very interesting is the U UK economy starting to falter and if it is it didn't start now it started late last year which is kind of uh, one of the predictions of the web, one of the web bot forecasts or alter reports from last year is that the UK would economy would fall, you know, economically. It would uh, not do well from late last year. So this is quite interesting. So if you enjoyed this video, please uh, give me a thumbs up, share it far and wide. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. Uh, if you'd like to donate to my channel, uh, there's some links below in the description. I'll talk to you later. Bye.